Welcome back everyone to Final Fantasy XIV. I finally figured out how the dungeons work in this game and we're going to have to go on an airship trip to get to the first dungeon of the game. Which I thought was kind of odd, because I would assume that the area you start in would have the dungeons that you would be starting with, but uh, apparently not. And we actually, I'm pretty sure, have to go back. Um, I'm assuming the steps on all. I'm pretty sure we have to... Actually, I think the airship we can get to by the shard, so that would actually be pretty easy. Thankfully. Okay. Let's go ahead and just grab a shard from wherever it is. Is this the way out? No, it's not. It's going to be on the opposite side, I guess. Yes, there we go. I also got this dance quest, but I don't really need it at the moment, so, uh... I guess it's just gonna hang out there for the moment. Yeah, I don't really need it at the moment. It's kinda like... Where's the shard at? I'm pretty sure there's one, like, right around here somewhere. Yep, there it is. Airship landing. Place we haven't been to yet. Alright, puts us right in front of the quest line, so... Let's go ahead and see how airship travel works here. Okay, on we go to new lands. I don't know where we're going, but we're going somewhere. That's a nice looking airship. Am I the only one on this ship? It's kind of a weird airship design. I guess it has like an extra balloon on the top of it. Even Thoncrete came along. <laughs> Guess he's not coming with us though. We're on our own. Where is this? Is this the moon? Been 15 years, but the 
bitter taste of defeat lingers still. Fifteen years since the Imperial fleet set course for Mordona, led by the Agrios, mightiest of all vessels. Silver Till Lake lay ripe for the taking, and all of Eorzea would soon be ours. Or so we believed. But an innumerable host of dragons met us that day at the heart of which flew the great meat guard Zormer. Though we succeeded in slaying that lord among worms, the Dread Serpent's defeat was bought at too high a price. Our invincible flagship was lost, and all hope of victory with her so ended our glorious conquest. Jeez. That's pretty tough. Eorzea, a blighted realm, riddled with false gods. Twice now it has eluded the Empire's grasp. For all the destruction it wrought, even Meteor, the Great Sin, failed to yield us control over it. And for this failure, the realm has sunk deeper into depravity. It is twisted beyond all reckoning, rotten nigh to the core. Yet, it must be saved. Only Garlean rule can bring order to Eorzea. It falls to us to deliver the misguided masses from their ignorance. We are of one mind, Lord Van Balza. I guess this is the Empire that we've heard so much about in the background of the story. that thing it has like a tail hey is the legatus really planning to take another tilt at the orsia hey what hole have you been hiding in we're in the midst of preparing for a new campaign, and a huge one at that. But I thought the Emperor had given up the Western lands for lost after Cartano. What could the Legatus possibly hope to gain by acting alone? I sense you harbor certain doubts over the wisdom of the Legatus's plan. My, my lord! Is that the Emperor? Please, call me Nero. Tell me, where were you born? Othard, my lord. Alamigo, my lord. Ah, codename Hummingway, I presume? I... I don't know what you... Silence. Your denials will not change your fate. I assure you, Fumentarium sees all. Uh... Is this guy a spy, perhaps? <laughs> Guessing he was a spy. And do not miss any, or I shall be most displeased. At, at, at once, my lord. Garland, soon you will be made to know the true power of Magitech.
Uh, so they're using like magic technology up there while the... I guess the rest of us are just using... Well, we're using some magic technology, but I guess less than them. I don't know. And we're here at Limza, I guess it's called. Finally made it. I guess it's loading in point. Oh, here we go. Storm Honor Guard. Okay. This way. Can't just hop over the gate. <laughs> um Hang on a second, let me check. Can I not like get over here? Let me see. Okay, I guess I have to leave then. We'll just move by the gate, I guess. Storm Honor, that's a new one for us. Alright. See, how do we get out of here? I talk to you. Bulwark Hall. Let's talk to you and see how this goes. Go ahead and give you that. Enter. Ah, this is one of the ones I found from my dreams. So the silver-tongued merchants send an adventurer to speak for them. It appears the Uldans place great faith in you. This way. I bid you welcome. I am Melvi Blufisvin, Admiral of Limso Lominsa. And commander of the Maelstrom. Now, what news from Thanalan? Alright, I guess we'll have to give him news then. Time flies when you have to rebuild everything, huh? I guess all the heads of the three companies are people from that particular event. All from the dream I had, I guess. So the next one we're going to end up meeting is probably the elf girl, I imagine. I 
Yeah, what happened to Bahamoth here? Because... I guess from what she's saying, uh, the dragon may have been teleported somewhere, I can only assume, or locked up again. And okay, the Imperials are up to something, I guess. We need to start up a new conquest soon. Alright, well this is going well here. That's two on board for the memorial service. Alright, to Grenada next, I guess. The wolf has been sniffing around the stables. I wonder what that means. Uh, where am I going? Uh, the lift, I believe. Right? Alright, now to Grindiana. Sure, let's go ahead and go. Wonder if we'll see another cutscene between the trip. It's all foresty in this place. Different from the sands, that's for sure. Alright, we made it. How do I get out of this area? 
Serpent Honor Guard. Huh. That's a new one. So I talk to you next. Okay, so we have to go a little bit further along than uh, where we usually do. Do we head up this way? This doesn't seem to be the right way, I don't think. Okay, so I have to go elsewhere here. I don't even know. I'm so used to Udon, it's like... <laughs> I mean, I just will get this either right here. way, I think. Alrighty. chart here. So you want to be a leather worker. <laughs> How far are we heading here? Oh, we're going pretty far, I guess. I'm gonna come back for these quests later on because honestly I'm wanting to get to my first dungeon at this point. Which I believe should be after this Envoy quest, if I'm if I looked it up correctly. It's kind of weird how in the other place they just let you go there like almost immediately and you didn't really have a time to check out the area. Here they're giving you like the full grand uh, way through. Conjurer's Guild, huh. That could be an interesting one. Here is the letter. So you are the Uldan envoy. On behalf of our fair nation, I bid you welcome. Please. Allow me to introduce myself. 
I am Khan A. Senna, Elder Seed Seer of Gridania, and leader of the Order of the Twin Adder, our nation's grand company. I understand you bear a message from the Flame General. I don't know much about the conflict, to be honest. All right. Apparently this empire was had some innovations in the field of magic tech some 50 years past. Raised it from the depths of obscurity. And with this technology, they tried subjugating their neighbors, absorbing them into an ever-expanding territory. And when the entire place basically was up for grabs, they tried to go for Azura, or whatever the place is called. I can't remember what the pronunciation is. Apparently part of the problem was also the first emperor. Solo Zan Garvis. Built the empire in his own lifetime. Lived long, even more than four score winters. Though he seems to be weakening. Garlemald still maintains a presence in, in this area in the form of the 14th Imperial Legion. Man in the Great Host is Legolas Gaius von Bazaar, a man whose ambitions is well known. As long as he's around, nobody can sleep easy. And because of the rebuilding, they don't really have defenses against an empire threat. The beast tribes are making trouble as well, summoning primals. Ooh, that's what that meant. Empire's coming once again. And that's our third company that has decided to go with the memorial service. That's nice. So overall, everybody's on board, which makes sense since they all saw this together and probably know the importance more of it than I do. Those are some interesting spears they have, huh? And I think that's probably our. I guess we've done our job well enough. Ah, uh, now, now we're gonna have to start paying Gil. 